Ice Cube refuses to take the COVID-19 vaccine and walks away from $9 million. More after this. Hello everyone and welcome back to AFG's Point of View, where I give you my analysis of the most popular topics in the world today. Today we got a story talking about Ice Cube refusing to take the COVID-19 vaccine and walking away from $9 million paycheck. As we very well know, the uh, world-renowned gangster rap rapper Ice Cube, known best known for his part in NWA, um, you know, now, you know, and also doing movies, you know, Anaconda, you know, Friday, just to name a few. Um, he's walked away from $9 million, $9 million payday and he refused to get vaccinated for the coronavirus. Um, the singer and actor was supposed to star opposite of Jack Black in the comedy, Oh Hell No. However, According to a report from the Hollywood Reporter, he decided that he'd rather step away from the project than comply with a production mandate to get the vaccine. Okay. Um, the outlet also reports that he initially agreed to be in Hell No in June with the expectation that it would shoot this winter in Hawaii with Katao Sakori, director behind Netflix hit comedy Bad Trip. However, it's worth nothing that the production on the film was reportedly pushed back as a result of an injury that Black suffered while filming a bit for the final episode of Conan. Sources told the outlet that by walking away from the film, Ice Cube turned his back on a $9 million payday. That's a lot of money. And I don't know if I could do that. Um... Representatives for Ice Cube, Jack Black, and Sony Pictures did not immediately respond to the Fox News request for, com for comment. While reports indicate the rapper's reluctance to get the vaccine, Rolling Stone notes that he's been a strong proponent of mass advocacy during, throughout the pandemic. He unveiled a brand of Check Yourself Before You Wreck Yourself t-shirts featured him in a mask a partnership done with manufacturer Blackout designed to benefit frontline workers. He also was thanked by Bacon College in August by donating PPE, including 2,000 face masks. Still, those combined sales were only half of what three chains made in January 2020, according to the analysis. In July, the rep reported that Several Hollywood unions and studio representatives reached a tentative agreement regarding COVID-19 safety protocols that sets one sets that allow production to mandate vaccinations for cast and crew who operate in Zone A, where principal film make takes place. This includes cast members. As a result, actors are left with the decision either to get vaccinated or walk away from potentially lucrative paydays. In fact, the National Board of SAG AFTRA had previously approved similar guidelines that allow productions to mandate vaccines. All right, so he walks away from $9 million. It's a lot of money, you say, right? And what I will say about that is this. That's his decision. And he chose to walk away from it because he knew that that was something that he just did not want to do. Now, I think it's way deeper than just a mandate of getting a vaccine. I think it's way more and I think it's worth way more because we all know that in the beginning of the pandemic, Ice Cube came out and was basically 
talking about black folks and us getting some reparations, which he is exact. He's a hundred percent right. You know, we should be getting something instead of just getting beat up by the cops, you know, um, taking advantage of and these different, you know, corporations and, you know, things of that nature. And, you know, we still haven't seen the glory day since we had a uh, black wall street back in the early, you know, 1900s. So, um, you know, we are a long way off, a long, long way off black folks. There is. And, um, you know, I understand why he doesn't want to take, he doesn't want to take the vaccine. This has more to do with him not complying with what they're saying because he wants to get what he set out to get. Okay. Um, if you're not familiar with it before, Pres you know, President Biden was um, elected, we had President Trump and he was in, he was basically saying that, uh, you know, he had this platinum plan and he had all these wonderful things for black folks. He got reelected. And it turns out that it was the bare minimums. You know, I mean, he had a few things in there for a few black folk, but it was the bare minimums. So we all wasn't going to get, you know, we all was going to get screwed. We all wasn't going to get, you know, taken care of. So now Joe Biden comes out with his plan saying what he was going to do for the black community. And I believe Ice Cube is still waiting on that because he's saying the black, the Biden's Black America, the, the Biden plan for Black America was promised to us when he was getting elected. He said, "If you elect me, this is what you'll get." And you know, at what I will say is this: your presidency is four years. Okay, now you, I know we want stuff right now, right away, and I'm not letting them off the hook. By no means am I letting Joe Biden off the hook. You know what I'm saying? He got a lot of stuff on his plate that he got to take care of. And trust me, I'm sure it's quite a few people that's in there that's reminding him about this plan for black America. But, I mean, right now, I understand he's dealing with, you know, the economy, the pandemic. The pandemic just threw him for a loop. And then the economy, it's a lot to deal with. It's a lot, lot, lot to deal with. America is, is one big, I don't know, it's just one big... Uh, I don't even have the right word to say, you know, you, you fill in the blank, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, he did come out and, and he said he was going to do some things. I'm just going to reiterate some of the things that he said he was going to do. He said he was going to advance the economic mobility for African Americans and close the racial wealth income gap. Now that's the number one thing that Ice Cube was talking about. Okay, you said you're gonna do it, so what's going on? How come black folks ain't getting jobs? How come black folks ain't getting better jobs? How come we're not getting paid more money, okay, than our counterparts? Number two, he said he wanted to expand the access to high quality education and tackle racial inequality in our education system. This too is a problem because we still have kids that's going to these public schools, okay, that ain't worth nothing, that ain't got the books or the technology that they need to push them into the 21st century. We're already in the 21st century, and you can't even push them beyond the 21st century, where other students and other counterparts, no matter what race you're from, okay, they're getting the, the, uh, the education, and they're getting all the different... Um, the, they get, they're getting the... What is it? The education. They're getting the... Um, the money, you know, they're getting the resources added to them. They're getting everything. They're getting all the help they can get. So they're giving. So, so far, that's strike two for us. Make far-reaching investments in ending health disparities by race. Okay. We need help with our health. Now, that part, I'm going to say, is some things that we as a people need to do. If we go out there and do what we need to do, then everything will be, you know, we could push the envelope on that. But if we not, if we still doing the same old goofy things every year in and year out, we're we not going, we're not getting the help. We just not. You got to prove it to them that you really want it. Okay. Strengthen America's commitment to justice. And we have some rappers like Jay-Z and, and Meek Mill fighting for stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I've seen uh, Kim Kardashian go into prisons and, and help people out as well. So, I mean... You know, we want that type of justice brought back to us, but we got to stop doing the goofy stuff. We just got to stop doing the goofy stuff and everything will work out for us. Um, make the right to vote 
and the right to equal protection for for real for African Americans. I don't know why they fighting us to vote now. See now we before it was like okay, we don't want you to vote. Now it's okay, yeah, you can go out and vote, and we wouldn't go vote. Now it's okay, we know the severity of it. Now we go out and we vote. So, um, yeah, just keep on doing what you got to do. Tomorrow is voting day, November the second. Today is November the first. Um, so make sure you go out there and make your voice heard and, and vote. You know what I mean? Our people die for it. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like we need to do our due diligence and make that thing happen. You know what I'm saying? Pick who you want to be in office. Um, and in the last, he was saying address environmental justice. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's basically the environmental justice. Is basically, if you think back when they had, um, and it's still going on, the water over in uh, Michigan. There's no reason why the water should be polluted, polluted like that when you got all these refineries and places where you can actually um, purify the water. You know what I'm saying? I come only in, you know, places like Gary, Indiana, you know what I'm saying? Detroit, Michigan and stuff like that, like in the hood and all that kind of stuff. They get bad water, but they don't have, the, you know, water, enough good water to wash themselves, to clean themselves, you know what I'm saying? They even cook with, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean... There's quite a few things, and, you know, I understand where Ice Cube is coming from. And like I said, I'm glad he's staying on his ground. You know, I just pray that he doesn't get sick. I pray that he stays strong and do what he needs to do and get everything taken care of for himself. So, you know, you know kudos to him. But um, anytime you turn on $9 million, one, he got the money to, you know, he got more than $9 million. It ain't like this is his first $9 million. You know what I mean? This is $9 million of probably 90, 100, something thousand million. You know what I'm saying? So. He has the money to back it up, but, you know, he's fighting for us and, you know, hopefully we get that win. You know what I mean? I'm hoping for it. I'm hoping and praying for it. So, um, you know, we'll see what it turns out. So that's the end of my story. Um, you know, I thank you guys for listening thus far and, you know, go and hit that subscribe button, share this video, you know, pass it on to someone that hasn't seen it yet. Um, let them know that, you know, we got some interesting content over here, and I'm taking suggestions. So leave your suggestions down in the comments below, um, and I'll definitely get back to you. And uh, you know, we go from there. We'll talk. We'll, you know, we'll talk from then. So sorry the video so long, but you know, I had a few things on my mind I want to get off. So you know, you know, I definitely appreciate you guys sticking around, watching the video thus far, and just know that everything that I do. I do it for us, not just me, but for you as well. So, you know, I try to keep everyone informed of what's going on and, you know, we just go from there. So I thank y'all. I love y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.